right, let's do reposition. And we're going to rock the main HP build, I think. And yeah, we have Eagle Eye. I think I need to make a new build that doesn't have this card in it. Although, honestly, this card doesn't seem nearly as bad as some of the other reworked cards they've made recently. Because you can almost double the duration of the reveal. But yeah, for those who don't know, who haven't seen the Knesset rework yet, because I don't think I actually made a video about it on YouTube. Um, yeah, she basically, her carbine now is more accurate. Is basically the general gist of the changes. <laughs> they changed specifics about the carbine that aren't just technically accuracy. But the point is, carbine is better now, easier to use. And she now has Quickscope in base kit. Quickscope is the card, of course, that makes you aim down sights faster. So you no longer have to run that card, and you have more build diversity as a result. The new card has been replaced with a card that buffs her passive, because she now has a passive where she reveals people to herself, not to her team, but to herself, for one second after sniping them like this. Shoot the ROM, I can see him through the wall. And that one lasted a bit longer than a second, because I'm running the card at level 3. So it's 1.75 seconds on the reveal there. And it actually makes it so much easier to snipe. That really is a big deal. I think people who are actually really good at sniping, which are not me, oh god, I'm a terrible sniper, but people who are actually good at sniping will definitely benefit a lot from this. I say I'm bad at sniping because I absolutely wreck that victor, by the way. Holy crap, I'm so good. I'm the best sniper. Let's throw that out there. Haven't used the wrecked sniper in a while as well. I honestly forgot she had one, because this sniper doesn't have custom effects. I mean, it has an orange tracker instead of a blue one, but other than that, like... You know, there's no... Oh, crap. There's no nerf darts or anything. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I didn't know you could do that. I just fell. Let's use the buffed carbine, though. There we go. Look at that. Owning ROM. Come on, Genos. Peek again. Oop, he did peek again, but Vatu distracted me. Whoops. There's some damage. Look at that. I can see where he's going. Hit him. Crap. I'm gonna throw this down. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Unfortunate. Can you play Poppy Bomb BK on these big maps? I played it earlier. We got destroyed, but it was fun. I'm definitely gonna play more of that today. We gotta test we gotta test the Knesset change, of course. Get a proper match where I'm not getting farmed by seven, like we did on the PTS. I think that's why I didn't upload a video on it. Because it wasn't fun to watch. Just me complaining about Seven being all the way up there sniping me. I had no idea where he was. He'd be, like, behind me or something. Oh, imagine if that hit. <laughs> Let's go! 27 damage, headshot, I killed him. I'm the best. There's a Vicky over there. I need some healing. I desperately need some healing. I don't know where Grok was. Might buy some life rip, actually. Yeah, he was all the way up there. Jeez. Yeah, I think I need some life rip. I need to become more self-sufficient. I know life rip isn't the best item, but Enemy I'm just going to be, like, so far away from Grok at all times. Enemy killing spree. Let's see. Any gamers? There we go. Look at these long sight lines. I missed him. Oh, that got stuck on the banner. Okay. Oops. 30 seconds Ooh. remaining. Ooh, I'm bad. Okay, let me just tag him real quick. So I can see where he's going. I think I need to move in a bit closer. Maybe go over here. Sure, let's try this angle. 1100. Ah, oh, man. Vatu's coming as well. I'm gonna get a preemptive mine back there. <laughs> the wall's in the way, dang it. There we go, I got him. What was that flick? What am I doing? Hand! Cooperate! Why did I do that? Oh, that was terrible. You know how sometimes you feel like you really need to hit a shot, so you just, like, overcalculate the crap out of it? That's what I just did there. <laughs> I feel like I always do that when I can S ult. Like, I feel like, oh, I really gotta hit these shots, so I overthink it, and then I just... I whiff everything. Alright, let's out-victor the victor, I think. Oops. Okay, there we go, we pushed it. Am I dead? I'm not dead, let's go. <laughs> oh gosh. No, the reveal is not for the entire team. It's only for Knessa. That is actually a misconception I did have at first. 
In my PTS notes video, I actually did say that it was a reveal for everybody, and I was incorrect there. And I correctly restated how it actually works in my recent video. Because, yeah, that is something to, uh, to do. Flicky! Ah, why do I do this sometimes? <laughs> yeah. Would you like Four, Paladin's Battlegrounds to come three, back? Two, Listen, if they one. actually managed to bring that back, I would happily give it a try again. Of course, Battle Royales aren't really my thing. And also, Paladin's Battlegrounds just turned into Realm Royale. Not to say they couldn't here. bring it back, but I think it would also be probably the most monumental thing to bring back. Night. Also, I'm not even sure if they'd be able to make matches for it these days. You have to keep in mind that when Paladin's Battlegrounds existed... The game was much larger in terms of the overall player count. Enemy killing oh man, I almost got him. For some reason I didn't get my teleport back. I'm supposed to get that back with power supply, but I didn't. That carbine nerf came in or that carbine buff came into effect there. We were more accurate there, but it still wasn't enough. I think you gotta fire it in bursts, where like you fire ten rounds and then take a breather. I just sprayed out the last few there. Just held spray and pray, and my accuracy just became abysmal. But yeah, like, I imagine if they brought it back, it'd probably be really buggy, first of all. And yeah, I don't know if we'd be able to find games for it. We already have several minute-long queues for, like, payload. So yeah, I don't know how effectively that would work. But you never know. Again, I'd be absolutely so happy to give it a try. I also hope they bring back, uh... What was it called? Dragon's Call or something like that? Whatever the football game mode was. Or soccer, as us Americans call it. Because I never actually played it. I heard it was really buggy at the time, and I have never been interested in the sports ball, so I just didn't try it. But in hindsight, I regret doing that, because it was still a unique game mode, and I never got to experience it. Hello, friend. Oh, I got my teleport back, but I got stunned. We gotta hope that Zinset can clutch up here. Our healer is dead, though, so Fernando's gonna die. Zinset getting the Genos as well. Yagaroth is only gonna be able to stall for so long against the Rom here. She's dead. Zins gets the pip. Does he get the touch, though? Oh, unfortunately he doesn't. <laughs> He's trying to win the entire objective by himself because we're all terrible at the game. <laughs> uh, I feel bad. He's gotta carry my sorry butt. Me and my terrible Knesso getting absolutely owned by Vatsu out here. Can't even do anything about him, man. Yeah. Let's get more life rip. Moderately interested in Paladin's Battlegrounds back when it was still Paladin's. I lost interest when it divided into Realm Royale. Me too. Like I said, Battle Royales have never been my thing. It was interesting just playing the actual Paladin's characters in a Battle Royale setting, but Realm Royale took that away. Granted, it made an original and unique game as a result, which had potential and would have been great had they not, you know, shot themselves in the foot by reworking it. A core mechanic. Whoa, that was a sharp turn. Okay, Genos. You are lucky I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> but I played Fortnite for like three games and then immediately quit because I hated it. I played Apex a little bit more, and that was the most tolerable battle royale I've ever played, but I do mean tolerable. It was not like... A super great experience that I'd be enthusiastic to play again. And I played that back in, like, Season 1, too. Which, I mean, again, it was nice, but, like, yeah, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. I understand why people like Apex, but, yeah. At the end of the day, not my favorite genre of video game. Oh man, he was low. Hello. Oh, that hitbox delay. I teleported, but... Yeah. Still said my hitbox was there for him to shoot. Yeah, I think part of the reason why Apex caught my attention was that it is a little sort of bit close to a hero shooter. Because you have, you know, your individual characters that have, like, special abilities and ultimates and stuff. You know, like Paladins, but uh, a Battle Royale. <laughs> but also, like, you know, not Realm Royale. Kind of. 15 seconds remaining. Let's make this interesting. I remember having fun. I remember enjoying Nine, Gibby. Makoa, as his name is. Six, five, four, three, but yeah. Two, eh. <laughs> Not one. for me. 
Uh oh. He's here. There's some damage. Oh, I fell. <laughs> no. Got him. There we go. That was a good shot. Throw that mine out there. Peek again. Peek again. I think he left. I'm actually out of range for that pit there. I want to play Strix the next time I get this map, just to show you the difference between Strix and Kinesa's range. Because Strix does outrange Kinesa. I would have been able to dismount that pip with Strix, I think. Then again, it is only by a little bit. But it is still noticeable. Hero shooters are a strong draw for me. I like having unique characters with unique attributes. Yeah, it's a cool concept. I love Paladins. I loved Overwatch. Emphasis on the loved part. In <laughs> um, Team Fortress 2 was interesting. But, uh, yeah, I preferred Paladins. Probably because it's just more familiar to me at this point. Four, three, two, I never tried Valorant. I installed Valorant because I was going to do that with Vex. Uh, but then that, you know, that never panned out. So the only experience I ever got with that game was just playing in the firing range. And the tutorial, I guess. But that's like a hero shooter, but with CS mechanics. It's like you have all these different hero shooters that are just... Oh. Okay. You have, all, you have all, all these different games that are like a hero shooter plus X genre. Right. Hero shooter plus battle royale. Hero shooter plus tactical shooter. I'd rather just play a plain hero shooter. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I tried CSGO back in the day. I just... Eh, not for me. I was never a fan of the fact that people could just walk around one-tapping you with AKs. But yeah, when I used the AK, for some reason, it could just... Do... The spread was abysmal. I never made it work. Like, the recoil was just weird. Never got used to the patterns. Never wanted to learn them. Hello. We're just gonna carbine you to death. Yo, let's go. Fernando will keep me in the game here. That would have been another kill if I were better at the game. Oh, he's totem. Oh, there's a pip there. He didn't touch there. There we go. Good. GG's. Used to play Overwatch, but drifted away from it long before Overwatch 2. I enjoyed Overwatch 1. Like, I started in 2022. Or, uh, 2020, I mean. Excuse me. I started in 2020. Basically right at the start of the content drought. And, I mean, it was fun. You know, I, since I was fresh to the game, everything was fresh for me. It was a ton of content to explore, and the game was fun. I, I evaded goats, so, you know, I never had to experience that either. But yeah, I miss my double tanks. Like, I get there are certain good things about having one tank in Overwatch, but I also just miss being able to have the duos. Like, as a Paladins player, I'm just so used to the dynamic of main tank and then off tank. And off tanks being able to just be tanks, but also play, like, dummy aggressive and not have to worry about the point. And that dynamic was in Overwatch. Like, that's how I played D.Va. I used to play a ton of D.Va because I just didn't have, to ho I didn't have to hold the point. Now I feel like if I play D.Va, I have to, like, be a point tank. I'm just like, I don't, I don't like that. I want to go charge at people. <laughs> I don't know. Not my favorite. And that's not even talking about the rest of the garbage Blizzard has done to Overwatch 2. You know, 